Sup y'all, bring you guys another video. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. Javier Fortuna versus Antonio Lozada. If you guys didn't know, they'll be fighting tonight around 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox Sports 1, PBC on Fox Sports 1. To be completely honest with y'all, I forgot about this fight. Completely forgot it. Went off my radar. But it is happening. They recently had their weigh-ins. Both fighters uh, weighed in and uh, Fortuna weighed in a little above 135, around 135 and a half, half a pound. And uh, Lozada weighed in around 134 and one-fourth of a pound. So, yeah, I forgot about this fight, but uh, it's a good fight. It's a good fight. I don't know why I forgot about it. I guess I'm just... You know, on cruise mode. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I forgot this fight, but I'll be watching. I'll be watching later tonight. Uh, Fortuna hasn't fought since uh, last year, so it'll be more than a year since he last fought. Um, Lozada hasn't fought since last year as well. Uh, the way I see this fight playing out, obviously, as you guys can tell, the big this the biggest uh, obvious difference between these two fighters is the height. The height. Of Lozada. Lozada is a lot taller. I think on box rack is six foot. Six foot and Fortuna is five, six and a half. So that's a big height advantage and reach advantage for Lozada. But he doesn't really fight that tall. Um you know, he he fights shorter than his height. And I think that will give Fortuna the um uh, uh some opportunities to land some good punches and combinations towards Lozada. Um, Lozada's a tough guy. He's proven it before in his fight against uh, Verdejo and Pedraza. He, he had moments against Pedraza, I would say. Um, you know, he, even though he did lose that fight by TKO, I, I thought he had moments in that fight. Um, but yeah, he's, he's a game fighter. He's a game fighter. But at the same time, you know, he, he doesn't have that experience compared to Fortuna. Fortuna has been around for a long time, man. It's, it's feel like he's been around for quite some time now. I mean, if you look at his resume, he's always fought some top competition. Miguel Roman, Cristobal, Cristobal Cruz. What happened to that guy? Completely forgot what happened to that guy. Patrick Hyland, um, Abner Cotto, uh, Brian Vasquez, Jason Sosa, Omar Douglas. Um, yeah, at around 135, he... He fought guys like Sheriff Burger Ray. That's a pretty good win. Robert Easter Jr. That was... Yeah, that was a close fight. That was a close fight. Very close fight. Aiden Granados when he fell off the ring. Yeah, 140 is probably not Fortuna's weight. 140 pounds. 130, 135 is probably where he's uh, his best at. But uh, I feel like his acti activity rate will give him the victory in this fight. Um, I don't really see him knocking out Lozada. Um... But you never know, right? Anything's possible. But should be a good one. Lozada, like I said, is a game fighter. He always shows up to fight. Uh, he'll definitely try to pull off the, the big win and, you know, possibly upset. Nah, I don't think it's going to be upset. I, I think I think Fortuna got this. I think he'll win this fight. Unanimous decision. Seven rounds to three. I think it's scheduled for ten. Yep, it's scheduled for ten. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always have a great day. Alright, thanks.